Hello everybody, hey, how you doing? Hope you're having a fantastic day. I'm having a pretty good one. Listen, again, as usual, listen, I thrive on giving you information. I thrive on giving you education. So if I were you, what I would do is I would stay back, accept it, take it with you, make your real estate career better, huh? That's my goal here is to make your real estate career better with some of this great education. Now, this is the deal. Today's topic is a good one again. If I do say so myself, today's topic is what the hell are escrow instructions? Here it goes. Now, what are escrow instructions? Nice and easy, huh? Again, let me paint the picture nice and clear so there's no misunderstanding whatsoever. Ready? Here we go. Let's take it from day one. We have a buyer, we have a seller. Boom. They uh, sign the legal and binding contract, which is the RPA. We open escrow. Yay, everybody's happy we open escrow. Now, escrow's job is to make sure, again, as you guys know, we've had a vlog on this before, is to, is to make sure that everything is on the up and up, everything's done according to the contract. In other words, their job is a neutral third party that protects what? Yeah, remember that? The integrity of the transaction. So they're sitting there, right? They get the actual copy. They get the actual you know, copy of the RPA, the Residential Purchase Agreement. This Residential Purchase Agreement was signed by the buyer and the seller, right? It's a legal and binding contract. This is the deal. This is the contract. This is the RPA. Escrow gets this. It's the baby. Escrow gets the baby. And escrow says, okay, let's put it down gently. And escrow's job is to review the contract. Escrow's job is to review the RPA. And they're going to put the RPA into their computer system, right? They're going to sit here at a computer and they're going to go ahead and transfer this, this information from this RPA, Residential Purchase Agreement, onto their letterhead. Got it? So they're going to review and they're going to say, let's see here. This deal is for $1 million and they're going to type it in. It's a 30-day escrow, right? Not, not, not a big deal. They're going to put in there, oh, look here. The seller's going to credit the buyer. Wow. The seller's going to credit the buyer with $10,000 for new, for new carpet. They're going to put that into the contract, into, the, into their computer. And then after all is said and done, escrow is going to go ahead and push print. Oh, yeah. They push print. And now we have what's called escrow instructions. This is escrow's way of saying, is this what you guys meant when you guys signed the contract? Can we please verify that you guys meant that it's going to be a $1 million deal in a 30-day escrow with $10,000 credit to the buyer? Are you with me? Escrow's smart. Escrow's job is to make sure that we're all on the same page. And all they did was take information from that original contract, from that original residential purchase agreement. So they go ahead and transfer this into what's called escrow instructions, and they go ahead and send it to the, to the buyer, and they send it to the seller. And they say, is this what you guys meant? And along with these escrow instructions are other items, other documents specifically just for the buyer and specifically just for the seller. But the one thing they have in common in their escrow packages are these escrow instructions. And these escrow instructions are a simple way of confirming, hey, did you guys mean this? Is this what you meant, Mr. Seller? Is this what you meant, Mr. Buyer? What happens next? The buyer reviews. Buyer says, yep, that's what I wanted to do. Buyer signs it. Seller gets his copy. Seller says, yep. That's what I agreed to. Signs it, returns it back to escrow. These escrow instructions now, ready? Here it comes. Here comes a big word, supersedes. Wow, supersedes the original contract. So since these escrow instructions supersede the original contract, don't you think it's important to make sure that these escrow instructions are reviewed carefully before signing? Absolutely. So if you were smart as a realtor, what you would do is you yourself would review these escrow instructions to protect who? Yeah, your principal. That's what makes you a great realtor, huh? You don't want to be average, you want to be great. And great realtors get involved in the transaction, heavily, proactively involved, are you with me? So if I were you as a realtor, you're also going to review the escrow instructions to make certain that the price is right, that the days of escrow is right, that all other agreed upon terms, like remember that $10,000 credit for the carpet? Don't you want to make sure it's in there? Of course you do. Now in my experience, I've had it once where escrow actually dropped the ball and they forgot to put that that extra benefit for the buyer in here. They forgot to put the extra $10,000 in the contract. No bueno, amigo. What do you do? You contact escrow and say, hey, escrow, my buyer is not willing to sign this until you correct it. You failed to put the $10,000 credit, huh? That sounds pretty smart to me. So, in a nutshell, what, is, what are escrow instructions? Escrow instructions is the escrow department's way of validating, of confirming, of making certain that we're all on the same page, that the buyer, seller, boo, are on the same page and they say, we sign, we agree, let's close this darn deal. Are you with me? Nice and easy. Escrow instructions. Million dollar question. Is it a big deal, yes or no? Absolutely. Hope this helps you out. Hey, have a great day in that real estate world. Go out and get it. See you next week. Hey, thanks for watching this last video. Hope you enjoyed it. I sure did. Hey, do us a favor. If you think a family member or a friend would also enjoy it, why don't you share it with them? I guarantee it they're gonna get something out of it. In addition, if you have any comments, questions, or a topic you want us to discuss, 
hey, leave it down in the comment section. And one last thing, if you haven't subscribed yet, what the hell are you waiting for? Do it right now. Hope to see you next week.